I'm the Amateur Logician from AmateurLogician.com. As rational beings, we should live a life that's logical. It should govern everything we do. Man is a rational animal. And as a rational animal, we should be able to, in principle, at least, if not always in practice, to think things through with reason and logic. We can, so to speak, intellectualize. That is, one, we can form concepts. For example, we can form the concept of triangularity. Two, we can form propositions. For example, we can form the proposition all Euclidean triangles have their internal angles add up to 180 degrees. And three, we can construct proofs or arguments. For example, we can form a proof like the base angles theorem as it pertains to Euclidean triangles. Being a good rational animal demands a good use of logic. Traditionally, logic has been defined as something like the signs to aid us in the attainment of truth. It has instrumentality thereby. That's the traditional view of logic. It's not a mere game, but a practical science that should help us obtain truth. Given some already known facts, namely premises, logic can help us extend our knowledge to derive new facts that follow from those already known facts, those already known premises to derive conclusions. It takes what we already know as true and then figures out what follows from those truths as also being true, as necessarily being true. Logic is a science. And a science, traditionally defined, is one, an organized body of knowledge two based on first principles that ground it which allow us to launch a search and that three sign searches for causes laws or patterns and traditional logic meets all three it's an organized body of knowledge about concepts propositions and arguments like syllogisms it's based on first principles like the principle of non-contradiction namely something cannot both be and not be in the same respect manner and time and three it looks for general laws or patterns about what makes a good argument versus a bad argument. For example, what makes a syllogism valid rather than invalid? Logic is a practical science. It helps us be logical. It allows us to reason better, to evaluate arguments of other people better, etc. Logic is an art. That is, it's a practical science. Again, it's not just some game of arbitrary rules. Traditional logic is about thinking about real arguments and real-life proofs. It's something to apply to life. We cannot just learn logic in theory. We need to learn logic in practice and how it is used in practice. Logic is about something to learn about in its applications. Now, logic has two branches. A formal branch and a material branch. Formal logic is about form, about structures or patterns of valid arguments. A valid argument has it that a derived proposition actually follows from a given set of propositions called premises. So we're dealing with structure or pattern. Consider all P's are M's. No S's are M's. Therefore, no S's are P's. That's a valid syllogistic structure. That's formal logic. Material logic is about argumentation as it occurs in daily life. It deals with argumentation in the concrete. Not in a purely formal, abstract way. For example, all men are mortal. 
No angels are mortal, therefore no angels are men. In this crazy world of ours, logic is more important than ever, or that is to say, learning logic is more important than ever. I am the Amateur Logician from AmateurLogician.com, and if you want to learn some logic, visit my website, AmateurLogician.com. I have an extensive tutorial on logic. Click the Trivium Logic section, and there are around 40 entries covering all sorts of different topics that you can read, study, and master.